think it's rolling now. Oh. <sighs> I'm aching. Why are you aching? Went well, to the gym, didn't I? No, you didn't. You told me last night you didn't go. Oh, that's perfect. Well done. That's a good start, wasn't it? There you go. Like, share, and subscribe. Hello, mate. We're just um, filming a video, so I'm going to make sure you're on it. It's Four Stroke Media. It's James. Um, is it okay if I call you back in a bit? Okay. Oh, beautiful. I love interesting. I'll give you a call back soon. All right, bye. Right, I'm going to put, put that on silent now. Oh, I better do the same. Anyway. Right, you got me in the video. Yes. Hang on, taking them off because I look unattractive. Oh, no, but you look totally different now. I look totally attractive now. Clark Kent over here. What we got here, Stu? We have here one of my dream cars. Well, it's not quite my dream car because it's not actually one. It's a, it's a Metro 6R4R, the R being meaning replica. But I've always wanted to see one of these and I've always wanted to be in one of these. So the video is going to be a little bit different today. He's going to go out first. I'm going to go out second, um, but what engine has this thing got in it? You tell the people. The, actually, the best part about this car is that it's faster and better than the one that it was actually based on that used to go rallying. So I'm, I, we're both really excited about this because we're old enough to actually remember seeing them on TV uh, when they came out. But this is a 6R4 replica with a 3 litre Ford V6 uh, with a turbo, obviously. So um, the bottom line is it weighs about 1,000 kilos is about 600 horsepower and it's built to perfection. Uh, if I do say so myself, I've been ch speaking to Ian who you're gonna meet in a moment and the quality of the build is absolutely next level. So if you, if you like the idea of that, have a look at this. Have a look. So, right, oh, we're yes. squinting in the sun. I know. I've got me a, a bend round a bit because of the old sun. There you bending round? No. I'll bend over. Yay! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I, this is this is Ian. Um, Ian, uh, this is not what he does for a job, uh, although you probably wouldn't believe it because the finish of this build is quite spectacular. Ian, thank you so much for uh, for having us today. So, what's the all sort of? What would you say the bullet point, top five bullet points of this car are? What makes it what it is? It, it's completely custom made start to finish yeah one lady owner white car automatic <laughs> 1.3 start with and just get going with the angle grinder and welder and that was it and it's taking that, about that's the really short version that is very that's <laughs> a very uh, like compressed version. it's about three years did you say it's taken you to do it to get to where it is now but to actually get it running with a totally standard engine was about seven or eight months right okay which isn't actually that long considering there was a, lot, there was a lot of work there's a there. lot of work yeah. involved yeah. um the t i mean uh I don't know where to start, you know, but so it's about a thousand kilos. Yep. Ian's maxed out uh, the 720cc injectors, as you were saying, yep. um, and everything's kind of working as much as it can for the combination of stuff you've got, which suggests on paper over 600 horsepower. We're, 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 we're on the limit. On I think the turbo's on the edge, even with Bortomath going in. Injectors are on the edge. It's a single Bosch 44 in there. I think everything's kind of the next thing the next thing would be changing quite a few things yeah, yeah. but for where it stands at the moment you can drag race it you can yeah. drive it on the road you can take yeah. it on the track it just ticks all the boxes yeah. I mean seldom do I use more than low boost anyway so you could then ask why do you want to go more than six yeah 430 which is the low boost setting which can I point out the low boost setting on this it still makes more power than the rally cars did back in the day to give you some perspective of the output of this car and how it's going to perform because it was a 1.3 auto one lady owner to the shops and back and now it's this like I mean you know it's, it doesn't get more extreme than that should we start the front and work back <laughs> I think that's Andy? the easiest way uh, you mentioned earlier about the uh, about the kit so it's not something that you've made, you, but no. it's probably the, one of the only things that you've bought, but that's not a five minute job, is it? By no, the things? no, no, the body kit comes from Smith and & Deacon. Um, and the 17 parts of it, be the time you get your sills and your boxes and your wings and your bonnet and your tailgate and things like that. 
Uh, and to be honest with you, if you want something that's half reasonable, it, it doesn't fit. No. You've got a lot of work to do on it, including mm. adding one inch into the bonnet to make it fit properly. So it, to get the finish, even if you just bolted the kit on as it was, it still wouldn't look this good. Yep. And the rally cars back then, they weren't meant to be show cars. No. You know, they were only, they were to cut, like you said earlier, just to cover the body of the vehicle yeah, to yeah, make yeah. it usable. Yeah, so, some, if you go and look at a real 6R4 at a show, some of the door gaps and things you can put your hand in. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But that's how it was. No, exactly. They didn't care. It, it was a purpose. Yeah, right? but when I when I built this, I thought it's not a show car, but I want it respectable. That's what I call it. It's respectable. Yeah, yeah and it very much is. I mean, yeah. the finish on it. You mentioned earlier that the uh, the front spoiler, this this enormous air scoop at the front, or the front spoiler, yeah, is the, a genuine the, item. Yeah, the splitter. They still make them. There's a company in um, in Leeds, and you can still buy those um, splitters. They do them in five different colours and three different drops. And that's what they would have used on the rally uh, car? And it fits straight on. How cool is that? So is the colour code the same as the 6R4? No, this is actually Ford Radiant Red. Ah, right, yes, yeah, so the Escorts and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just we, a good red that I like. It's it? lovely. Yeah. 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 Well, you we love a red about, car. Then yeah, you? I do love a red car, but the Escort, the Escort in the Radiant Red has this sort of like... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But it pops, yeah, like you yeah. said. It's not bad for a back garden spray job. Yeah, he's done in the <laughs> Which, back garden. Which, by the way, <laughs> we have to get this point across. When he says, I've done everything, he really has done everything. Rebuilt the engine, forged rods, forged pistons, yep. built the exhaust himself, wired it, mapped it, painted it, sorted out all the suspension. Like, there isn't one thing on it. I think when you look at the car, the only thing that's metro left is this part of the door. <laughs> The glass with at the, the front, roof and the window screen. The yeah. roof and well, the screen. The, the main shell and the doors, really. That's that's it. And you have raced it at the pod. Yeah, yeah. And what sort of times did you get? Eleven point two at one hundred and twenty-nine. Yeah. But that was only on middle boost, and we were struggling with grip. So theoretically, it'll do ten five or something before. It's a ten-second car, and yeah. it's not even a drag car. It's a ten-second car yeah. that you can go around corners in. Yeah, yeah. I go Which shopping is... in it. I go to the post office with my parcels. <laughs> <laughs> when I looked in this car earlier. Uh, one of the things that Ian pointed out... The door's shut really well. Well, the door's right? shut well, yeah. I looked on the dash that he's made, obviously. I looked on the dash and I was like, it said heated mirrors there. And that was something you thought... Well, why just, not? Just going to build that into it because yeah, it's the, there. The MGTFs use the same mirror in the mountain and they have electric mirrors and heated mirrors. So I thought, it's having them. I'm getting attacked, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> why not fit them? Yeah, and and, and it's and again, it's neatly presented. It's, yeah. You've made your own centre console, I can yeah, see yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's got the boost switch on it, traction control switch, a couple of other bits and pieces. Traction control's in there as well? Yep. That's interesting. Do you, I suppose you have to use it on like places like the pod. You're better off actually switching it off. Oh, really? And the reason for that, I certainly will do when I put drag sticks on it, because the diameter difference. Right. And it won't be able to calculate slip properly, because the, the speed will be different to the front. Ah, yes. But it does the speed difference to the front to the back. That's how yeah, it I get that. Right, right. For those of you out there who build your own stuff, the, the, stuff. the tenacity and the, the patience that Ian has had with this car, the clocks look like Metro clocks, but actually it's three different clocks that have been made, um, even down to the speedo. They would have had a cable speedo, so he's used an electronic pickup and an LDV electronic motor for the back of the speedo yeah. and then calibrated it so that it still works at the right speed that yeah. you are, off, off but still ABS, looks the same. Off the ABS ring on the front wheel. It's just, it, that, that sort of stuff people don't do. People ignore that sort of stuff because it's no. easy to ignore it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, there it is. It weighs just about a thousand kilos, do you yep. Half of that's engine. There's a lot of <laughs> engine in there. Half, half of it is half engine. Of it. Yeah, it like looks lot. big because you've got the gearbox cream, and the engine. Why? When we turn the camera on, do we just attract the most odd sounds? Okay, anyway, try and ignore that in the background, unless you want a twister. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so it's got a, uh, remind me of what turbo was on there? It's a Kinigawa uh, GTX 3076, which is a copy of a Garrett, yeah. but a third the price. Uh, yeah, I was going to say about a third of the price. And what yeah. sort of boost pressure is it running to maintain that sort of power? On full boost, on the, on the 600 or so horsepower, just a whisker on the two bar. Okay, so that's pretty. That's not. A, that's not asking an awful lot of it. No, 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 no. It probably, it probably will go more, but I think I'm on the edge of the compressor map as well. Right. Okay. Because of the, it's a three-liter engine, so it's yeah. And and plenty of torque. There's obviously plenty of torque. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously three liter spins it up quite reasonable. I as well. can imagine. Yeah. yeah. An interesting thing uh, that Ian mentioned was about. It's got water meth injection. There, yes. there was something a bit different about that that you yeah. said. The way well, you I've, I've got two jets on this. Some people frown at it, but I've got a very small jet aiming into the mouth of the 
uh, turbo mm. and what that does is it actually shifts the map over a little bit so you can push a turbo just that little you can't keep going because you just blow it up yeah but you can shift it over and then the main water meth is standard position just prior to the throttle body yeah so it's actually got one fine spray yeah and a, and a, and a proper jet yeah, is it a, sti a silly question asking if you built that intake system yeah, okay, I won't ask that then, <laughs> should I? <laughs> um, just, just go with everything. I just, I just, yeah, I know, but when I see it, I think that looks like you bought it from somewhere. It fits absolutely perfectly, believe it, or not, it does the job. Believe it or not, the mould, because that's fiberglass underneath the gun, mm. the mould I use from that is a B&Q rubbish bin from for a bedroom. <laughs> You've got to adapt. <laughs> oh boy, have you done that as well? Yeah. I bet it sounds amazing. I'm really looking forward to going out in it. Are there any? Uh, one question I like to ask: Is there anything over the next, say, over the next year? What are the things in your mind you think I must do that? I'm going to change that. Sequential. Sequential box. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to convert mean. that to sequential. Wow. I'm probably going to go the way like uh, Lamborghini or BMW did with either hydraulic or pneumatic actuators on a normal synchro box uh, okay. and see if I can make it quick without breaking. It's probably points. foolish me saying, well, has anyone done that before? Because you'll, uh, you'll say, I don't care if anyone's done it before, I'm going to do it anyway. Doesn't matter, does it? No. <laughs> a man of your calibre, I suppose. Uh, yeah. It's, it's having it. It is it, yeah, yeah, exactly. And having it, having experienced the sequential in that uh, escort that we went in last week, yeah, you know, I can safely say it's uh, it makes a hell of a difference. Sorry, I could go on and on about this, but I just find it so interesting. Uh, what we're going to do now uh, is actually enjoy it where it belongs and go and take it out for a drive on the road, which I'm really excited about. Right, it's kind of recording, Stu. Can you come and have a look? Well, it's got a red light flashing, doesn't it? Shh, don't want to give it. You fucking want to give it. Yeah, it's working. Well, no, it's working because the camera's going. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's a light bit of entertainment for me for the day. Oh, it's quiet, isn't it? So most people can't believe, actually, how. Because you can cruise along and it's fine. I'm surprised how quiet that was. We're back. Only because technology failed us yet again. I'm sure actually you could probably take one of these apart here and fix it actually. <laughs> we'll put can, it past you. I can put it in one of my bins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I was saying, before the GoPro decided to let us down, 1,000 kilos, 600 horsepower. And this, uh, the first thing I said when I got in it was the fact that it's got 50,000 miles on it and it drives. I'm not driving it obviously, but it's very quiet and very compliant. There's no knocks or bangs or anything. It's it works. I mean, well, we can, the fact that we can have a conversation when we're driving it is yeah. uh, for a car. Well, I built I built it to use. It's not just for shows and it's not just for track days or drag racing. I can use it every day. Yeah, and it's and it, it feels like you could as well. Very complete, and you've carpeted everything inside. This sound deadening, yeah. you know. There's a radio. I forgot how small they were inside as oh, well. It's, it's not a big car. No, it's no. It's like going back in time to a Nova or something like that. Or an old yeah. Mini. You get in an old Mini and it's like, Jesus, how were they all so small? Well, four of us used to go to school <laughs> in one of these when I was younger. You can't imagine it now, I could you? I can't imagine no. it. You know, they're so and there's nothing of them as well. You know, they're so yeah. tiny. Yeah. <laughs> and it, you're very gentle with the gear change. You're not having to like force it into gear. It's just no, very it's, sort of... It's right. Um, did you the gear cables? I presume it's on a cable yeah, mechanism. Yeah. And that is that a, are they the same cables that you would have had that it would have been in the? No, I had some uh, some custom made cables, but it's a different length than um, the gear sticks. I did. Yeah. The gear levers, box all. <laughs> the linkage on top of the gearbox I made is all ball raised with rod ends and things. So right. There's no slopping anything. So it's just a combination of. Doing your measurements and seeing what was about that sort of size. Well, you've, got to and work, you've got to work out your bell crank ratios so you actually get the right throw here. According to the throw on the, the lever on the shifter. Yeah. Right. Instantly sweating. 
that is impressive. It's uh, the power delivery is not peaky. It's like here we go. It's how you map it, isn't it, as well? Nice and like yeah. linear, I suppose. Yeah. Jesus, it sounds good as well. It yeah, sounds we, super if we good. Turn it up a little bit. Do a U turn. Right. Okay. Because that's a nice bit of road, is that? That is, yeah, yeah. The traction control is likely to kick in now, and it'll start misfiring. So now it's making another two hundred. Another 200 horsepower on what we had? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, about 1.9. If you look at the boost gauge there, you can see I'll, what it's doing. I'll try and look, yeah. <laughs> the brakes are awesome, aren't they? They're, they're, they're very good. Yeah. Well, it's got uh, Renault Megane Grembos on the front. That's the cheapest way of getting a good four pot aluminium. And they're a big disc as well, aren't they? They're a big disc, they're a 330 disc. Wow, man. Right. Ooh. Right, we're on low boost. Low boost. Low, low boost, boost is this good is just, for me. This is just, this is going to the shops. Going to the shops. Yep. Some 50,000 miles, that's all right. Yeah, well, you don't need 38 on when I got it. Is that, I've, I've, this is the first time in a long time that I've actually gone out and experienced a car where you have things like, uh, he's ready to take pictures as well. Um, oh, that's, that's Owen. The... You don't have to grab the door handle. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> is it like it's stuck? So there we go. Right, let's have a go. Boomy, 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 loads of noise, everything else. You can else. just cruise in six gear. Yeah. You can have the radio on, you can just cruise along, have a chat. It's, you could, you, I'm not saying it's a commuter, but you could drive it like you have today, a long yeah. distance. Yeah, it's not a problem. That is brilliant. I can let go now, I'm still gripping like that, thinking you're going to go. We'll find somewhere to turn around, yeah. and we'll use full boost, a little square coming back. We can turn in here, can't we? Yeah. Full boost. Full boost. So that's another 200 now. So we've got another 200 ores. Yeah. That's quick enough on 400. No. No. <laughs> it's quick, it's quick no. enough to go to Tesco's. Yeah. Right, you know what? I'm going to actually brace myself already. Right. Well, Don't... I'm not going to try and accelerate on the gravel. We'll get it in a straight yeah, line. We'll get it in a straight line. I didn't think I'd fit in it, but I do. And I like it. You like it a lot. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, turn it down. We don't I'll need any more of that. That was it. I just wanted to come out for a quick pull because Owen seems to go out and well, experience all these things and I don't get to. So no. I thought I am today. <laughs> you because like the look of I this. want this one. Yeah. It's alright, isn't it? That is super. That is brilliant. Especially when I remember the metros of when I was a kid. No, they're not the same, are they? No, <laughs> no. I've never been in a metro that does that. That is super. Super duper, should I say. Super duper. It's a word I've not used for many years. But yeah, that's enough for me. I felt 400 <laughs> and I felt 600. That's it. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a, yeah, there's a big difference. That to is. be fair, you two were the first people to have ever sat in the passenger seat on full Really? Yep. 
Everybody wow. else starts grabbing the uh, the dash and things at four. Well, the only thing I could get, I thought if I go like that, they're going to whinge. And then I'm like, just hold on. That is brilliant. Thank you very, very much. Not a problem. That is superb. That is great fun. Come on, pickle. 400 brake, I thought, that's great. Yeah. That is really fast. Yeah, yeah. 600 brake. He's unbelievable. He's <laughs> a different level. Got it. Yes, kind sir. There you have it. Yes. <laughs> Stu actually, for once, got to experience one of the most extreme cars we've had on the channel. I can't talk about it enough. I would make this video an hour long if I could because the car is freaking mental. Uh, uh, you know, that, what more can you say? It's fast as hell, it's very well built, it looks, I mean, look at it, it speaks volume, it's amazing to look at. Um, and I, I, we've got to thank Ian so much. He, Ian's travelled down. Thank you, down, mate. No problem. Ian's travelled down the equal distance that we have had to travel up, so thank you very much to Ian for that. Um, if you have or know of anyone with something as mental as that, get in touch with us. I think I could count on one I hand. I think we're running out now. Okay, all right. Well, anyway, if you like what you saw today and you want to see more, we've got more coming. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell where you can. That's your lot. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before I hit your fist, but he hit the fan when I.